I wrote a blog about buy a jar. I don't really want to go through it all here on camera. I just want to have a little bit of fun, show you rather than tell you about what I'm doing as best I can. Who knows where this is going to go? That's the beauty of this platform. I have found it's best to use logs that are as dry as possible and to pack it in so that there's some nice air spaces in the retort. The wood I use to start the fire is also collected from the sawmill. This is probably the most uh, time consuming and expensive part of the process for me. It's both collecting the wood and breaking it up to put into the fire. I try to use as little as possible while making sure I've got it packed nice and tightly around the retort. I've always got some scrap newspaper and just collect some twigs and kindling from the trees around the, the system. Being a T-LED design means it is crucial to start the fire on the top. I pack this up on the edges and start the fire as quickly as possible to get the char going. My setup is by no means a perfect system. I burned a hole through one of my drum lids and now I found that by adding a small chimney on top actually increases the draw and improves the process of making the bite. Once I've got it stacked up and the chimney's on, I always take a seat and just make sure that the fire is caught nicely. Originally I thought I could make farm scale biochar and include it into the banana fields, but that became an impractical process. Instead, I've chosen to incorporate it into our vegetable garden. Here we grow cabbages, beans, corn, onions, peppers. It is kind of a traditional Zulu garden and uh, managed by my foreman. The process can take anywhere from two hours to six hours I've found depending on the amount of wood you use for both the fire and in the retort. Often I'll just leave the system overnight and let it cool itself. If you don't do this, it is important to quench it when you open it up, or else you will have a fire on your hands. After I'm satisfied with my product, I move it into my storm bath, and I use a, a rustic stick just to bash and crush it up to a a sort of a fine aggregate of things, which I find sufficient for my incorporations. If you've enjoyed my content, please hit the subscribe button and like the video, as the more people that join on this journey, the more enthusiastic I will become in making videos.